Hey boys and girls, it's Pastor Ed again here. Um, I want to talk with you about today, because you'll be watching it on Sunday, Pentecost Sunday, special holiday in the church year. It's the birthday of the church. It's the time when the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples and, and gave them the power to, to do wonderful things, the power that we still have as God's people in the world today. And the interesting thing about power, uh, Jesus promised the disciples before Pentecost, he said, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And then you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth, all over the world. And we're still doing that 2,000 years later. We're still going out into the world to tell people about Jesus and God's love for us in Jesus. And we have the power to do that because of the Holy Spirit. Well, I have uh, something here to help us think about this, and, and it's, a, it's a flashlight. And sometimes here at church, we've, had, we've got a big old tree in the front that keeps, in the storms and the wind keeps getting knocking down and hitting the, the power lines. And last, last year, if you were in preschool, we were out of school for a, a little while because the, the, the lines were knocked down. We didn't have any power in the building at all. Happened again, we didn't lose the power, but every once in a while we lose the power and we don't have any lights, we don't have any electricity, we don't have, aren't able to do anything. So I have a flashlight here, and I'm gonna show you. It's not working, is it? It's not working because it doesn't have the power to shine the light. Hmm, ah. What do I have over here? Got a couple of batteries. I didn't put the batteries in the flashlight. If I put the batteries in the flashlight and try again, there's the light. So the flashlight without the batteries doesn't work. Put the batteries in, it has the power to show the light. Well, it's the same way with us. We can't really do a whole lot by ourselves, but Jesus said, when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, you will receive power and you'll be able to go out into the world. You'll be able to let your light shine. In fact, Jesus also said that we should let our light shine so others may see what we do, our good works, our loving works, our caring things, and give glory to God in heaven. It's not us. Power doesn't come from us. It comes from God. But that power enables us to be a light in a world that so often is darkened by sin. Think about that. Think about what it means to have God's power in your life and all the good things we can do because the Holy Spirit is in our lives. Let's pray. Well, God, we thank you that you've given us power through the gift of your Holy Spirit, the, the gift that was received on the day of Pentecost that we continue to receive even to this day. By ourselves, there's not a whole lot that we can do, Lord. But through your power, we can do wonderful things in your name in the world. And it's in your name that we pray. Amen. Well, hope you guys are having a good week and hope you have another good week until we're together again. Bye-bye.